Hi guys, it's your girl Ebony Tia here, first name Tia, middle name Ebony, hi. And in today's video is going to be about my shower routine. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so right here your girl is wrapping her hair up to get into the shower. I'll be seeing the other girls that do this video and they do not be wrapping their hair up or putting the shower cap before they get in the shower. For me, Ebony T, do not do that baby. Let me know if I'm extra because I put on a scarf, bonnet, and a shower cap. Do anybody else do that? So before I get into the shower, I use the Skintimate 2-in-1 Coconut Silk Shave Cream and Skin Conditioner. This cream is so moisturizing and feels so good on the skin. It's kind of like a lotion consistency. As you can see, I use this stuff under my arms and also I use this on my bikini area. I use the Big Flex 5 Hybrid Men's 5 Blade Disposable Razor. I love this razor so much because I feel like men razors are more sturdier than the women razors. This thing catches every piece of hair. I know, I barely have any hair. I'm not a hairy person. I use this turmeric and honey brightening scrub from the brand Sugar Rose on Etsy. Because I shave and want to prevent dark spots and bumps under my arms and the bikini area, I use this right after I shave. Baby, like turmeric will save your life. I do not have no dark spots underneath my underarms or my bikini area because of this stuff. Your skin is not sensitive you could also use this on your face a lot of people use this everywhere on their body I use this oatmeal milk and honey soap by the brand natural beauty express this soap is so amazing if you have sensitive skin this is a natural product and it smells so good promotes healthy skin production and oatmeal helps to dry itchy skin and almond milk is rich in vitamin E and that helps protect and heal the skin also. I know you girls gonna want to tussle after y'all see me using a rag but I still like using a rag. It gets me clean, it scrubs, and it gets the job done. I see a lot of the girls use the African rag and maybe one day I'll try that. But until then, I'm good with my regular degula schmegula rag. Okay. scrubbing your legs too and your feet don't forget your feet guys because that gets dirty too okay now to 
exfoliate, I use the Tree Hut Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub. And I usually exfoliate two days out of the week. This stuff smells so good. I swear your whole shower is going to smell like this when you leave. This body scrub makes your skin so soft and smooth and it helps with your skin to glow too. I'm going to use the Honey Pot Normal Foaming Wash for my vagina. And this wash helps hydrate and balance your pH. And also, the smell of it is just so refreshing. Now, to moisturize, I use the Bath & Body Works Rose Body Lotion. Not only does it smell so good, it helps moisturize your skin and makes it soft. Right after, I use a Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. So I have eczema and this lotion is good for dry and sensitive skin. And this stuff is so lightweight and non-greasy. I love this stuff. Now I'm going to be using the OG Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I mainly use this on dark spots that I have on my skin. And I have to be more consistent and use this more on my dark marks so they could go away. I also use this on my feet too because baby, my feet be moisturized, feeling like a baby's bottom, okay? We can't be doing crack feet in 2022. And I swear, cocoa butter is just an OG. Like, you can never go wrong with this, and it's only $7. This is the only deodorant I use because every other deodorant breaks me out. And now I'm going to be spraying the Rose Fragrance Mist by Bath & Body Works. I just love spraying this every night before I go to sleep. It just smells so good. guys so much for watching to the end of this video make sure you like comment and subscribe